Welcome to African Horizon. Today, I want to explain the very interesting developments going on in North Kenya with the Lamu Port and the Lapsid Corridor. So Lamu Port was an idea envisioned by President Kibaki of Kenya, Prime Minister Zenawi of Ethiopia, and President Kiir of South Sudan back in 2012. Construction started in earnest in 2014 and it's been going on all the way since then. And in June this year, in two months, they're going to be opening up and starting shipments from Lamu Port and on the way up to Hawassa and Adama Industrial Parks in southern Ethiopia via Moyale. They've been going on with you know, port developments. Three berths are already completed with 1.2 million TEUs. The goal is to have 32 berths completed. That's probably going to take, I think, another you know, 10 to maybe 20 years total completion, also considering COVID going on. But the fact that they have three berths completed and they're going to start shipments from you know, middle of June from now, that's two months from now. So there is really, really interesting developments going on in Kenya. Infrastructure is so important, which is why this is very interesting, particularly for northern Kenya. There have been terrorist you know, attacks by Al Shabaab conducted in northern Kenya, you know, in the, in the region are also around Lamu, but there have been very strict security measures enforced. During COVID, they have been able to continue work on the Lamu port by lockdown, completing down the entire Lamu, you know, work site area. There have been 2,000 workers, you know, continuing works on the Lamu port during COVID, and they're going to continue developments going forward as well. This is really interesting. Maersk is one of the large companies, you know, also being a part probably of joining a special economic zone for manufacturing near Lamu Port. So there are international investors going into the area. And I think it's really interesting because opening up northern Kenya, providing a you know, road, cor road corridor, also going to build an oil pipeline in the future and I mean oil and railway as well. This is really interesting because this is connecting Kenya to South Sudan and Ethiopia. And in this broader landscape, including also Somalia, when the situation in Somalia also, you know, develops and matures and it's going to probably take time, for, you know, longer time for Somalia. But I think it's really interesting. Uh, President Kenyatta met with Prime Minister Abi in you know, Ethiopia in late last year. They visited, you know, the, the border of Moyale where there is a one-stop border checkpoint set up. They also visited Lamu Port. They inspected developments. This is really interesting and really important. Now, Kenya already invested heavily in the in Mombasa, Nairobi stretch with the Sandra Gorsh Railway. But the fact that they're now building a second large port in Kenya is really interesting. They're along the coastline in East Africa. There are various ports, you know, Mombasa, they're building Lamu. There's also going to develop, you know, Tanga in, in also Dar es Salaam and down, you know, in Tuara. So along the East African coastline, there are various ports this is just important because there's going to be such a need for supply chains and logistics corridors into the hinterlands in East Africa and Central Africa because the population growth is going to be massive in the coming decades. So this is vital that it's going to go, you know, go forward. Now, the Lapsid Corridor being Lamu Port, South Sudan, Ethiopia Transport Corridor is now really you know, a project that is coming to, you know, to show that the importance of making strategic decisions on infrastructure is so vital. And while some critics and some journalists may think that, oh, but, you know, there's no potential now and, you know, there's terrorism, but that is exactly why I think it's very, very important that these governments made this decision to make and develop the Lamu port and this corridor because the, the way forward is to build business, is to develop infrastructure because that is going to provide job opportunities, that is going to attract businesses, that is going to draw trade and logistics across northern Kenya into South Sudan and to southern Ethiopia. And that is the way forward also for other regions also to really just think about. So this is very interesting. It's very positive. And this opens up way, you know, various opportunities for foreign investors will in need a logistics base. So they could now consider potentially both Lamu, but also, of course, Mombasa is you know, another opportunity. But Mombasa, Mombasa is already you know, quite congested. There are a lot of you know, players already using Mombasa, the Mombasa stretching into Nairobi and onwards to Uganda. But really, this is interesting. So considering the opportunities now going forward and from June, and work is just going to continue. The Kenyan government is currently looking for, you know, financing to support the developments of more berths in the Lamu port area. That is going to continue. And in the various different road projects, you know, rail projects, is just going to go on from now on. So I think, I think in the coming years, this really interesting transport corridor opening up Kenya, Ethiopia, South Sudan, and also going to open up other countries is really interesting to be aware of. So thank you so much for joining. 
and I look forward to seeing you next week.